Hey, what's up guys, it's Unleashed here today, and we are back with another video on Sonic Frontiers. So we are now on the last day of the Gamescom demo for Frontiers, meaning that the last batch of information and footage is going to be out today, so yeah. But remember, we're going to get more things on Tuesday because apparently that special demo embargo is going to be lifting on Tuesday, so we're going to have more things to talk about, so let's go. But enough about Tuesday, let's talk about today, the present. Because we have some cutscene footage with audio, some more information on the game, and also more cyberspace footage with audio. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's take a look at the news at hand. On to Twitter, we Sonic Rush. So we'll first begin with the cutscene footage since that's the oldest news. So we actually have the opening cutscene of the demo specifically, with some audio where we can actually hear Roger voicing Sonic, so play it right now. And yeah, overall, my thoughts on Roger here is, um, I guess it sounds alright. He's definitely going for a more serious and deeper tone for Sonic, and it does sound a bit weird, not gonna lie. Sonic sounds more grown up rather than just being energetic like he usually is. I don't know if that's this new direction for Roger, or if it's just for the context of this cutscene, because Sonic wakes up from being knocked out, so he's probably going to be tired and stuff like that, and not really know what's going on, so maybe that's why he sounds like this, but, uh... I don't know, honestly. But overall, Roger doesn't sound horrible. Right then, moving on to cyberspace. So we're starting with this footage from a new stage that we haven't seen before yet, and yeah, you can once again tell it's more reusing level design, but this time not from Generations or Unleashed, but City Escape from Sonic Adventure 2. Now, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter just going completely 180 from saying, oh, why are they using level design? Saying, oh, wait, it's City Escape from SA2? Okay, you know what? It's not that bad after all. But in my opinion, I'm still on the negative side of things here. I don't care what game is reusing it from. It's still reusing it. I mean, I guess it is kind of cool that they're taking something that wasn't made for boost, and they're putting it in a boost game. I can understand that part of it being cool, but it's still reusing level design, whether it's from Generations Unleashed or not. But that's just my point of view on it. I mean, I guess one kind of cool thing about this is that we could potentially be seeing more things from other games like 06, Heroes, maybe even SA1, or even more than that, who knows? But yeah, this is a change my opinion on Cyberspace all that much. I mean, it is kind of cool that they're using stuff from things that isn't a boost game, but still, Losing level design, it's the same thing here, nothing too different. Right, then here's where things get interesting, not because of the level design or thing like that, but of the music. So we have a clip of the opening of Sky Sanctuary where we can barely hear the music that's actually playing in it, so have a listen. And yeah, you can definitely hear some sort of lyrics near the end of the clip there. And it does sound similar to the single that was in Forces for the Avatar stages, so... Maybe they're bringing them back? Not sure. Right, then moving on from Sky Sanctuary, we have Green Hill. But this is actually another Green Hill stage. So we have the tutorial one, the sunset one, and now this 2D one. But this 2D one isn't even the same one that we saw in the trailer because this one isn't at sunset. So that means we have four Green Hill stages on the first island. Like, oh my god. How much Green Hill do we need? We had like nine Green Hill stages in Sonic Forces and now we're having four in Frontiers. Like, 
Jeez Louise, have we not had enough green hair this past decade for crying out loud? But anyways, let's play the clip, man, because you can barely hear the music once again. <laughs> <laughs> right, that is it for Cyberspace footage in this video. But we do have some more details on Cyberspace and this is where things get really interesting. So we can see here. Iggy Mini, yes, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. So I guess this confirms at least seven stages per island. I think this person calls Y Treat. Now, this is actually the person who's been providing the footage for Cyberspace and everything. And these people are actually at the demo, so just be aware of that. But they say, yes, but I think even double that. We'll explain in a second. And then he comes back to it. Still busy, but coming back to this one. Everything you saw and everywhere you could go was just a half or even one third of the island. The big hill won't let you pass. All seven levels were on that site, but we even saw a giant throne level on the other side. I'll bet 10 per world. Okay then, okay. 10 cyberspace levels per island. So if we do the math properly, that means 50. 50 cyberspace stages in the entire game. Look, oh my god. Now we do know that there are actually more than at least seven on each island because let's just think about it right now. We have the four green hill stages in the game, then we have a chemical plant, then we have Sky Sanctuary, that takes us to 6, but then we have some city levels because we have that 2D one that we've seen, so that makes all 7. But then we have that 3D one that we've just seen, that's 8. But then we also have that one that we saw in the trailer, so that's 9. And one thing I've noticed about the different variations of Sabbath's levels is that they all seem to have different times of day. Because we had daytime Green Hill Zone and then sunset Green Hill Zone. Then for the City Sage, we had, I think it was nighttime. Then we had some sort of daytime thing. So maybe every single zone that's actually in cyberspace on each island has a different time of day variations for each stage. So maybe we have another chemical plant and sky sanctuary stage in the first island that we haven't actually seen yet. And then from Game Informer, we also heard about rooftop run, so where's that? So we definitely seem like we have a lot of cyberspace to be looking forward to, I guess. And honestly, if they're gonna have more than 50 stages in the game for cyberspace, then you know what? Fine. I can actually let it slide that they're actually reusing level design in that aspect. Because once again, it's over 50 stages, like, that is actually quite a lot. And from that 2D city level, it does seem that there's some original levels in there, so... If you can have at least half of those stages be original, then... I guess that's alright. It won't make it 100% okay, but it'll definitely make things a lot better than they actually seem right now. Right, then we now have some footage of some underwater sections in the open world, and it's kind of hard to see because some people in front of it, god damn it, but people who play the demo have said there's some sort of oxygen meter for when Sonic's actually underwater. And by the way, yes, it is 3D underwater, not 2D, so rejoice Sonic fans, rejoice. I do hope there's some sort of drowning theme in this game. I hope they don't cut that out because it's a different type of Sonic game, but please, I want a drowning theme. But yeah, it has been quite a while since we saw some underwater 3D sections. I think the adventure games had one. I think SA1 had one in Emerald Coast, and then is... Oh, actually no, in Lost World 2, actually. Then in SA2, you had Death Chamber, Aquatic Mine, and then you had... Um, Cannon's core. There apparently some 3D sections in Sonic Lost World 3DS too. So it is nice to see some underwater 3D back once again. So yeah, I'm happy about that. Hopefully we can see a lot more than that rather than just having to go underwater in some sort of lake. Maybe further in the game, underwater becomes like a pretty difficult thing to actually get past and you actually have to do it. Maybe even having whole sections of islands be underwater, that'd be pretty sick honestly. But yeah, excited to see underwater in 3D. Excited for that. Right then, we end today's video with some information and everybody's favourite purple cat. That's right, big. In the open world, you can find purple coins. If you collect enough of these, no exact number is known, we had around 25, you can go into a throne, like from a level, that takes you straight to big. There, they talk something and you fish directly. It's a nice place with a big pond, where you can't roam freely. If you give big a purple coin, you can catch a fish. It's a mini game where a circle gets bigger and when it's so big that it's in the red area, you have to press and fish it. You get one coupon per fish. You can use it to buy things from big, from 100 rings to a vault, 
to an Eggman memo slash intel. It seems completely optional, but it's really cool that it's in the game. Unfortunately, we couldn't record any of it, but to be honest, not much happened there. So yeah, we already knew about big and everything in this game, but it's nice to have some more details on it. Anyways, that about does it for today's video. So we have some more interesting news on the cyberspace and some of it actually does make me a bit more happy for it. So we have at least more than 50 of the stages in the game. Like that is still very, very surprising. Like more than 50 boost stages. That is brilliant, man. Then we got to hear Roger properly. Sounds a bit weird, but I think I'll get used to it. Then we heard a bit of the music in the game. And then also more details on the open world. But what do you guys think of this news? Does it make you more excited for Frontiers? And do you think we'll get some more original things in cyberspace? Let me know down below. Love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially that last one. Don't forget to become unleashed by pressing that join button down below. Remember, it's not necessary. And I will see you all next time. Peace.